Good morning, it's Lori from Lollipop Paper and Ink. Thanks so much for joining us today for our Facebook Live. Um, I am on a little bit earlier today. I, ha I do have an appointment, so I wanted to uh, make sure that I got this out there and um, that I have time to upload it to YouTube for, for uh, posting later this afternoon. So I hope that it's not too much of a hassle for you all to find me. If you're here, just um, say hi, tell me where you're from. Um, I apologize for my friends all the way out on the West Coast or close to the West Coast because I know that it's pretty early there for you today. So um, this is going to be quick. I just wanted to um, kind of make a little mush of the um, a few of the celebration items um, to make a you know to make one design and I and I just wanted to use what I had and uh, so I picked out a few of my faves and uh, so we're going to make two today. But first, let me do um, our business. The prize patrol for last week is, um, and first I really should make sure that I am in the right place. Yeah, I am. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, okay, so last week I had the In Your Words stamp set that I was giving away for my prize patrol. And this was a hostess set that you could only um, earn with a $300 order. So um, I, it, it has just all sentiments and it's, it's all year round. It's, you know, it's, it's great. <clears throat> so I, I uh, put the numbers in of the, everyone that shared and I do appreciate everybody that shares, but what I do is, good morning ladies. Um, I make sure that I uh, just put in how many comments I see that you shared because I don't know exactly. It might say that, um, you know, a certain amount of people shared Facebook, but then I don't know who they are. So I put the names in and then I just use a generator. And so I came up with Fran Weinberg. Um, so Fran, I'm pretty sure you're new to our group. So if you could send me your, um, or just PM me your mailing address, I'll be happy to get this out to you. And I wanted to send my apologies to Micheline, who uh, last was our prize patrol winner for last week. Uh, I just got over my head and I just, I didn't get it out, but I promise that I will get that out and this one out um, today or tomorrow. As soon as you send me your address, Fran, I'll be able to um, pop this in the mail for you. So um, I do appreciate everybody that shares though, you know that. Um, so, to, so for this week's prize patrol, which means next week, I'll be giving away the Snow Wonder stamp set. And um, this was a set that was in last year catalog and then it was carried over because it was so popular I actually I've never I've never worked with it so um, I'm happy to give it away and hopefully somebody will share their creation with it um, so that we can all be inspired by it so let's go over the ones that the um, celebration items that I am using today on different cards and we're only gonna make two really cute quick simple cards but um, I will um, I, I will. I do have a bunch to show you, so hang with me till the till the end if you can. So my absolute favorite is the delicate dahlias, and uh, this is the two-step stamping. It has large flowers, small flowers, leaves, um, everything you need, and sentiments, and that's what I love so much about it. So that's 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 my main one. The other one is the counting sheep. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the counting sheep and it's a bundle. So this came with really cute little dies too. Love that little fence. Um, so so I'm, I, I'm interchanging um, all of these together. And then there was this other one that I really like because um, I do like shapes and uh, geometric um, patterns. So I was sure to get a few of these and I have this that I'm gonna, um, I'm just going to add it in to some of our designs. And then I'm using two of the paper, actually three. The one card that I'll show you uses the Penguin Playmates uh, DSP. But I will, um, but the, I, didn't, I didn't use that for, for the bulk of them, which I did with these because this is gorgeous paper. This is the beautifully penned um, DSP. And you can see how pretty this is. Um, perfect for black and white or like you'll see today um, 
we're gonna color in a little bit of these with the blends markers and the, that comes out perfect. Um, this is, uh, you got, four, this was, a, these all are 12 by 12 and you were able to get four of this design each, um, of each of these designs in this, in this pack. This was the um, peaceful, peaceful, um, peaceful place? No, peaceful prints DSP. And um, this was cute too. This was the, um, the, the holiday one with deer prints, plaids, stripes. It could be holiday or if this is my favorite, it could be very neutral. So um, this is probably, um, so some of these I will have, um, so just stay tuned because next month when celebration is over, I usually have a few classes where I um, provide the kits and the stamp sets or in this case for the counting sheep, I will include the whole bundle for you. So keep your eye out on that because we're going to be, um, I'll be putting that out there sometime within the next two weeks, I guess, to make sure that um, we get the most use out of these. And if you don't have the stamp set, no worries. Um, it's all gonna be included along with products and kits in, in that class. So let's start with this one. This is the card. This is one of them that I made. And um, this is where I just used the beautifully penned um, DSP. And this, these flower images, they're the small images from the Delicate Dahlias. So I did a lot of the die cutting first, so let's just, we can just get, get busy. And I'll just show you how I stamped it and how I um, just colored in just a few. You could have colored in more, but I just did my, my three there, three or four. So I'm starting with just a regular card base, eight and a half by five and a half. And I cropped, uh, I trimmed a piece of uh, pale papaya um, cardstock. And this is, and I, I will have the measurements on my blog when it does, when it does make it there within a few days. So this is just four, uh, this, excuse me, this is just um, five, four, five and a quarter by four, just the usual. And then, we're gonna just layer this up here, okay? So I cropped one of these beautiful tags from the um, uh, scalloped, con uh, scalloped contour, whoops, I just want black right now, um, <clears throat> labels. And um, what are we using here? We're just gonna use these little ones. And you can see they have really nice um, two-step stamping that we can do here. So I'm gonna start with I don't think it matters, but I'm gonna start with the black, um, the outline print, and I am using uh, the me Memento Black. If you wanted to use your blends markers, that would be perfect too for this. But just random stamping, just to highlight this really pretty um, design. Okay. And I will just put that away for now. Well, you know what, let's do our, um, since I have the blackout, let's do our sentiment, which is this thank you kindly. And I do like this because um, this, this tag was from the uh, Nature's Harvest or the Harvest Dyes, from part of that bundle. And it's perfect for all of these sentiments here because they're short and square and fit perfectly on here. Okay, <clears throat> so, excuse me. So let's see, just make sure. Good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for sharing, I appreciate it. All right, so now I'm just gonna come back in with the solid color um, stamp, the second part of it. And let me get rid of this, because I don't end up putting my white, and I'll show you a, a happy accident that I, that I had on one of the cards that I'm gonna show you. Um, I just kind of made up my own color. Not by choice, but I just ended up doing it. So these are pretty easy to line up. Um, I have a little trick to show you to line up the big one. But for this one, you can see here, there's sort of like a, a short leaf right there. And so I just um, match that up with my short leaf there. And I like it when it's a little bit um, off center the color 
So I'm not gonna stress too much about that. So here I'm looking for that little guy again. And that'll be good. So here he is all the way down over here. And I'll just pop him like that. Okay, so now I want to get rid of the soft succulent. And I'll show you. And I'm just going to do the, um, this is the pale papaya. And I'm just going to do the others here. So my little guy is here. Turn this around and get that one in. This is a very light color, so it just makes, makes the design pop a little bit, just to give it a little color. Okay. All righty. That's it. That's it for our stamping. And now all we have to do is just start layering. All right, so let me get my seal. And oh boy, we're out of the seal. So I'm going to go to the back to the snail. All right. Oh, actually, you know what? Let's do the let's color this a little bit. So all I did here was I just took a few of the um, the petals that I knew were going to show because I'm going to put a little piece of this. Uh, this is the in color um, shimmer vellum. So that is going to go under here. So I want to make sure that I have just ones that are going to be shown. And I'll just do a little bit. And this is going to go through with the blends. So just be um, careful that you don't have anything underneath that that you really want to save. And that's gonna be there. We can just do another one over here. And if you wanted to, you could use the soft succulent um, to do the leaves. But I just want the, the pale papaya to pop a little bit. And I'm not even sure if this is gonna be covered, but <clears throat> you get the idea. All right, so let's put this on here. And I'm just going to put adhesive right into the center because I know that um, the, oh, don't tell me that's gonna go out on me. I know that the, um, the, the tag is gonna cover that up. So yeah, so we have a little bit covered and that's gonna be nice and uh, centered. It's okay if the ends peel up a little bit. I kinda like that. I like movement in my, um, in the cards. Okay, so let's, oh, see, we're back to the snail. You appreciate how quiet the um, seal is when you start using the snail again. It's a little bit noisy. Okay, so now I wanna take a little bit of my um, shimmer ribbon, black shimmer, is that what it's called? Glitter, glittered organdy ribbon. And I'm just going to put a little bit around the sides here. And I'm going to tape it to the back. That's another reason why I'm not worried about the um, vellum because it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be held down pretty tight this way. So this is just a easy cheesy way to get your ribbon to stay with no fuss. And just make sure that it's light and straight. And there we go. Okay, move that baby down a little bit. All right, so now he can he is ready to go on to the card base. Oh my gosh, that is so annoying. <laughs> you know, you do really appreciate the um, the seal. In other ways too, it's uh, it does have a n much nicer run to it when you're um, just needing the adhesive to um, to do a full card, and or you could use the um, or what you call it the uh, liquid glue, the Tombow. All right, let's get some dimensionals out here. And I'm going to pop this guy up right over. And we will be good to go, done with uh, 
number one. See how simple? And that's why it's like maybe you looked at one, um, one of the stamp sets or the paper and, you know, it didn't move you totally, which actually happened to me. But um, once I put them, you know, decided that they really work with with others so so much better that um, it really it really brings the the fun back into it because you can there are so many to choose from and you can definitely um, mix it up and come up with different designs all the time. All right, so I'm just going to take a little bit of this. And I want to just make a little knot over here. And I kind of want to make it like fat. I don't want to, I don't want to pull it too hard. And you could always put a, um, a, a, a glue dot down there. But, and I'm going to square this off. Normally I would make like an angle for my, um, for my little tails, but I wanted this just to be a little bit different. And I'm going to put some mini baby uh, adhesive here. Oh, I hope I'm in the camera range. I always forget to look up. <laughs> okay, there we go. Alrighty. And a little bit of, um, and that fits perfectly right under there. And then a little bit of bling from our um, In Color Jewels, just to pick up that pale papaya again. Where do we have that? Let's see. And I think it looks kind of yellowish, doesn't it? Until you um, actually put it on the design. And then you can see that it's not. It's, it does pick up that, those, it's like that prism effect. So I really love that. Okay, so that is done. Let me show you a few others that I made with, um, with this stamp set and, uh, and this paper. So I had this, well this one here is um, just the stamp set. And I, um, so I wanted to show you how I did that with my, with the, um, with the, this big die. So it, it did take a while. I was like turning it and turning it, trying to figure out how to get it on there. And then I realized that um, there was, all you have to do is just find one spot that you can recognize. And mine was this here. I don't know if you can see that. To me, that looked like the leaf was curled. So I just focused on that. And then once I found the right spot of where this goes, which would be, you know, where I wanted my, my solid color to go, then I just put a little uh, permanent marker right here. And that, then I know that that is going to work every time. Just, it, it's a little time saver. Um, because this one has so many beautiful, you know, little pocket leaves, but I just focused on that one that looked like it was curled. So that's how I did that. Um, okay, so all I did here was just use different Mary Merlot, uh, Bumblebee, I think Granny Apple Green, and just put it on a regular um, in layer of five and a quarter by four. And then I just divided, uh, put it, in, uh, split it in three. Actually, this isn't five and a half by four because um, this is my layer here. So this must have been five by three and a quarter. And then I was able to um, split it three ways very nicely. This is another one I did. And this is the one where I made a little mistake because, um, but I really like that. It's sort of like between Calypso Coral and Pumpkin Pie, but I was originally intended it to be uh, soft saffron like these. <laughs> and um, my, I must have had ink on it from using the Mary Merlot, that's what it was. And so I added that. So now we know Mary Merlot and so, soft, so saffron kind of make this beautiful orangey, peachy kind of color. So um, so I was happy with that. And uh, this again was from the Beautifully Penned um, DSP. That's it. And this is uh, the sentiment and the um, flowers are from the Delicate Dahlias. This is another one I did. Again, Beautifully Penned uh, DSP. 
um, just did it in black and gray and um, yeah the uh, gray granite I believe and then um, very simple nothing nothing more and and I that's what I do like about this set is that it's it has happy sentiments it has a thank you and it has a, a sympathy a sentiment so we all need all of those at some point so this is my favorite this I use the uh, dazzling be dazzling paper and just the uh, solid stamp here um, the, the second step of this of this image and I did it in um, Night of Navy stamped the sentiment right there and then for this I used, I don't know if you remember, but um, I still love using it. It's that um, gilded leafing that was from the annual catalog. And I just took a little um, a stamp set with, that had just a little background dots. And that's how I um, got that, the gold leafing. I used the heat um, and the, the powder, the heat powder and uh, the heat tool and just love the way this comes out. So I'll get this on my blog pretty quick. But again, two simple um, uh, products that were from the, the uh, celebration catalog that, you know, just work so well together. So that's that. That was for that one for the Dahlia. So let's do a quick one with the uh, counting sheet. And this, this is um, really quick. And I did a little bit, I did, um, uh, stamp this guy and cropped him out so we don't have much to do here but again I just wanted to show you this paper is from the um, Peaceful Prints DSP and uh, I just want you to be able to get use out of all of the uh, you know out of all of them that you accumulated so here I took the base and I um, this is the normal 11 by four and a quarter scored at four at five and a half and I probably should score it a little better here and burnish that okay and then um oh, here this is the sample that I'm going by right here isn't that cute just quick and easy just being just using a few of the things that I have here on hand so this one I'm just this is just layers so let's get these on and then I'll show you a few that I did that I incorporated the um, the counting sheet and the uh, um, textures and frames stamp set. Okay, this is going to go here. These were just literally these were scraps that I had laying around, and once I start, I keep my scraps in a little bowl right on my desk there, and. Um, they come in very handy. Okay, let's see where we are. I just want to check. Um, good morning. <laughs> oh my goodness! Don't be don't be watching me in the car, Peggy. I'm glad you're just listening. Okay, so just gonna put this here. Get this guy on top, and then just it's just adding just a little bit of interest. To the inside of the card because sometimes you have to do that if the uh, card is um you know a little too simple so okay so i have the, i took this um beautiful scalloped tag out of the again out of the um scalloped con contour dies and i'm just going to do a little bit of stamping here before we put him on and just to give it a little bit of um, focus, like to put your, I wouldn't want the fence being, um, you know, elevated without anything underneath it. Okay, so that, let's put the sentiment right up on top. You're amazing. Again, this, this is another one that fits perfectly in that little um, squarish tag. So let's get him here. Okay, and now we are ready to assemble. So let's see. Uh, I have this guy, and this this fits in really nicely with the um, with little baby mini dimensionals. 
they fit right on the corner posts here. Okay, whoops. <coughs> Where is, what's happening here? Okay, come on, behave. This one, I don't think I'm gonna put on there because if, I mean, if I wanted to, I would slice that a little bit in half. But <clears throat> I think I'm going to put the, um, my, my ta tag on first. So I just wanted to, I know I want it to go right. I don't wanna uh, cover up my sentiment. So I'm gonna put it right here. I just have to put the adhesive on this part here. And it just gives me a better um, base as to where to put my fence and my counting sheep, my jumping sheep in this case. Okay, so he's that's right there over the grass. And we can put, and I've seen a lot of these um, sheep being filled, um, colored in and um, so they, they definitely can be, as long as you use the Memento Black ink, that would be fine, but I like it better. Um, I, just, I, I just think, <laughs> I don't know. I think it looks a little, um, not real, artificial. I don't know. But and so anyway, we got this guy and he is jumping over the fence. Just make sure that he's not gonna be, um, we just want it as high as the, the label goes, the tag. There we go. How quick was that one? Okay, so here we have our counting sheep and peaceful prints. Let me show you a few more that I did. And again, I definitely will have a class next month where um, the kits will be included with product and with the actual bundle, because for that you'll get the, um, the, the uh, stamp set and the dies. Okay, so this little guy, this is cute. This is the one that I used from the, uh, the DSP is from the um, Playful Playmates DSP. Another one that was uh, free with celebration. So, and I used the Fresh Freesia uh, color outline for this. Just did a few circle, uh, some uh, layering from the layering circles. And that's just adorable. This one here, I did use the, the sheep and I used the Textures and Frames um, stamp set, which is really cute. I mean, you could do a lot with it. It doesn't, you don't need to have sentiments and you don't need to have floral images all the time. This is a perfect example of just using the background uh, stamps and putting something really cute and simple right around it. So that was another one that I did. And, um, and the, this is my this was my fourth one. Again, I just used here. I used this um, this bottom uh, image to make some dirt uh, in the bottom here behind the, the little gate, and um, the round, uh, not the full circle, but the the outline circle, is what I used there just to pop up the um, the sentiment. And um, this was the the balloons and the hats are part of the the uh, counting sheep dies, the sheep dies. And um, so again, I like to just mix and match and make sure that, I, that I'm using everything that I have earned because it did cost you money to, to get these stamp sets and this paper. So it's always good to use it. So um, these are not the exact kits that I will be um, providing with the classes. But, uh, you know, I might change it up a little bit, but um, depending upon how much of what I have that I can, that I can fill the kits with. But um, keep your eye out because they definitely will be coming um, next month, uh, which is next week, I can't believe that. And um, everything will be there, everything that you need because the stamp sets and in the sheep one, the dies will be included. So I hope that you enjoyed these. I will have these hopefully on the blog by the weekend. And um, that's where I'll have the measurements of, um, of the one, the two that we did do today. And the other ones, um, if you get the class, then you'll, you'll have all the measurements for there. Okay, thank you so much for joining me today, ladies. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you for 
um, just spending a few minutes with me today and being flexible and getting on a little bit early. Um, usually I'm here at 11, but I do have an appointment, so, um, and the ladies I'm going with are not gonna wait, so I have got to be ready in the driveway by 11.30. So, um, so I, I just wanted to get on and share with you just a few ideas and tips on how I miss, how I um, mix it up and uh, get some cute designs out of different, different papers and different celebration items. So there's really just one more week, not even a full week left for, um, for celebrations. So, uh, you know, the only, the time, I'm assuming that everybody's got what they need by now, but if not, and if you need any help, just let me know. And um, just keep your eye to the blog and to our, um, I'll, I'll have, uh, I'll announce when I'm ready to get these, these uh, classes out in the mail, the celebration classes. Okay, so I hope you all have a great day and uh, stay safe and I will see you back here next week. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Bye-bye.